Alrighty guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video and today we're going to be showcasing this Tech Vegito Blue at full level 10 links. Um, here he is, again, I, I actually have him completely rainbowed. He was actually one of the first, uh, you know, Dokkan Fest units that I've actually got rainbowed. So there he is, fully rainbowed. I went full additional for him because again, he does raise defense on his uh, super attack. So again, I, 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 um, I decided to go full um, additional for him to really maximize his potential all right so he is again full level 10 links and now with him being a full level 10 links i believe that is nine units that i have fully level 10 yep he is the 10th unit to be full level 10 uh most of the, the level 10 link units that i have here are like mostly fusion based characters and he's just you know another addition to it because the only ones that, that aren't fusions is prime battle goku Prime Battle Frieza, and then LR AGL Gohan, but literally the rest of them are all fusion-based characters. So, anyways, let's head on over now to the first category team with this Tech Vegito Blue. Let's see how well he's able to perform. Um, so again, this is probably going to be one of my more special showcases because, again, he's fully rainbowed. So anyways, let's go ahead, let's hop right in, and let's see what this Tech Vegito Blue is able to bring to the table. Alright, so we're here in our first event. Um, and our first team, we are on the Kamehameha team, led by AJLR Gohan. Uh, again, we're getting 170% to attack and defense. So, start of turn defense is 42k. Again, defense has really knocked this Tech Vegito Blue strong suit. The reason for that is, if we look at his passive, he literally has absolutely no defense built into his passive. The only thing he has is two additionals built into it where there are great chances to launch up to two additional attacks which is a 70% chance and then on each of those he has a 30% chance to launch a super attack and then he and then he gets 15% attack with each attack performed up to 150% so uh, again this uh, Tech Vegeta Blue really doesn't have any sort of defense really built into him just yet so, again, in terms of links, we're going to have Super Saiyan, Over in a Flash, Fierce Battle, and then we're going to have, I believe, Kamehameha. Um, so, anyways, we are going to, again, purposely miss Super Attacks here. I don't want to finish off this Goku too fast, because, again, uh, this Tech Vegeta Blue needs to, needs to Super Attack, or just, you know, attack a total of 8 times, no, not 8, 10 times, in order to get his full attack passive active. Now we have Kamehameha, so let's go ahead and let's see what type of damage this tech vegeto blue is able to do all right so that's fine because if we put tech vegeto blue in slot one he actually would have taken a, a quite a bit of damage there all right so he's at one million um again keep in mind with each attack that he's doing he's building up his passive so there's the second attack there's the third and then give us a fourth one we did not get the fourth one so we have now three attacks out of ten so we still have seven attacks left to go all right, Goku, please don't kill him. All right, good. He did not kill him. All right. And there's no way we don't kill the enemy here, so let's just go ahead and let's do that. And then I also brought the free-to-play STR uh, Gogeta. Again, this is a unit that came out quite a while ago. I am I mean, I'm still banking. Actually, no, he already has an EZA. Never mind. I was going to say, I mean, I'm still banking on that they're going to give him an EZA, but he already has one. Um, so never mind there. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to share everything except Warrior of Gods and Power Bestowed by God. Because when we super attack, we're going to get Kamehameha. Alright, so yeah, we're going to have to do this just because, again, we really can't super attack with this uh, with my Tech Vegito Blue. Because, again, he's full level 10 links as well. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Defense, again, is 54k. Uh, he does infinitely raise his defense. So, again, that defense is, is just going to keep stacking and stacking and stacking. All right, let's see what he's able to put up now. So after three super attacks, he's at 1.7. Again, with each super attack, he's infinitely stacking. There's the next super attack, that's 1.9. So we're at, at a total of five super attacks now, or, or just five attacks in general. So we still have five attacks left to go to get his full passive. And then in the meantime, he's also going to begin stacking attack and defense while uh, he's doing that. All right. Let's go ahead and let's... Okay, good. We're actually going to be able to miss super attacks with all these units. Again, the fact that this phase is in is really good for us because, again, Tech Vegito Blue, like, he could, like, you know, quadruple super attack and still not kill this Goku. All right, so he lowered our defense there. 
you know, I brought some healing items because I believe it was for the... I believe it was for Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Vegeta. I actually brought him into this event and he still died. So that was very, very annoying. Alright, so we're going to have, again, everything except Warrior of Gods and Power Bestowed by God. Again, those links, actually, let me take a quick, quick look at those. Because Warrior of Gods, again, it's really only for the blue Gokus and the blue Vegetas. So that is really, really annoying. And then Power Bestowed by God. Uh, those are basically all Patara-based characters. Oh, so we actually did have... Oh, we did have Power Bestowed by God when we had Tech Vegeta Blue on rotation. Alright, so we had 6 out of 7 links. Okay, so we have 5 super attacks performed so far. We just need... Um, five more to you know go ahead and have him fully built up so anyways let's see if he's able to get four super attacks here because if he can get four super attacks then that'd be pretty good all right two million uh again this is a sixth attack uh, i believe normal attacks count to, uh, count as well so that's seven. Oh, this is gonna hurt oh that's gonna kill us i can't believe we actually died all right Let's go ahead and let's go on to the next category team. Um, again, so far I'm actually pretty impressed, even though we died. Um, again, this Tech Vegeta Blue, I would say he's more built for the long events. So anyways, let's head on over to the next category team. I mean, either way, because, uh, you know, this guy's on a lot of teams, so we have a lot of stuff to cover today. Alrighty, so we are here on the final trump card team. Uh, we have um, Tech Vegeta Blue as the leader. Alright, so... I'm going to actually put him in slot 1. The reason for that is because even though we're going to get Power Bestowed by God from Tech Vegeta Blue, um, again, this boss does not have enough health to tank a Super Attack from Super Gogeta. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put him in slot 1. We're going to have 4 out of 7 links. We're going to only be missing Kamehameha, Power, Power Bestowed by God, and then Warrior Gods. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's see what attacks that he's able to put up here. Uh, keep in mind, again, this is a 150% lead team, so his attack should be a little bit lower than it was before. So yeah, so there it is, just under a million. Again, it doesn't look that impressive, but again, this Tech Vegeta Blue, like I said, you know, he's really built for like the long type of events. That's really where he's going to be able to shine. Um, Alright, so, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to miss a super. Uh, this Vegeta is basically dead. Um, unless MVP 17 doesn't additional or anything, then he should probably survive. Uh, cause again, AGL Super Vegito, I mean, he doesn't really do a lot of damage. Eh, I mean, that wasn't that bad. My, my only concern is this Tech Vegito. Um, just do your one super and that's it. Just no more. Alright. Okay. <laughs> um... Alright, MVP 17, don't kill him, please don't kill him, alright, so he's living on a sliver of health, alright, so our defense is 68k after one super, we do have God Topo on rotation, um, alright, let's go ahead and let's see what kind of um, attack side he's going to be able to put up, because keep in mind he only did one super attack, and then God Topo is giving the support type a buff, so his, yeah, you know, his attack, like right there, is going to jump instantly. And the reason for that is because, again, since he gets all of his attack on super, uh, you know, support type units do make a really, really big difference in terms of a unit's damage output overall. Alright. So now we have the blue fusions transforming. Um, this is going to be a little bit problematic because I don't want them to instantly kill this boss. Uh, the issue with that now is the fact that they're probably going to insta-kill this boss. Um, alright. And then... Alright, oh, actually... No, because they get key on super. Yeah. Oh, boy. <sighs> this is the one issue with Vegito Blue. And then there's a second one coming. <laughs> this is the one issue when you're trying to do showcases. They're just gonna insta-super. And there's nothing you can do. <laughs> look at that super Vegito. look at that damage from super Vegito. nothing but double digits look at that oh yeah he doesn't get key in the third slot but he still gets the additional super damn it please stop supering all right 
Okay, so this is only three super attacks for him so far. We do have MVP 17. Our defense is at 91k, so it is looking very, very good right now. Alright, let's see what he's able to do with only three super attacks built up from his passive. Um, again, we're, I mean, honestly, we're probably not going to see his full passive active. Yeah, 1.29 without support. Because, again, this guy, he's just way, way too powerful for Dokkan events. Literally, him and all the teams that he's on are way too strong for Dokkan events. Alright, um, unfortunately, I can't miss. Actually, no, I can. The issue is here that I don't want to die because that tends to happen now for some reason. So, we're going to do this. Again, Super Vegito's not going to get key when he supers with his first attack, but he is going to get a guaranteed second one. So, doing this is at least going to make it so that we only hit him with one super attack. Please stop. Please don't do damage with your counters. Um, now is not the time to do that. You, you, come on. Alright, so his health is a... I mean, it's still pretty high. That's going to be very, very good for us. Because then hopefully... Yep, Tech Vegito Blue can go ahead and go all out. Hopefully he can quadruple super attack for us, because he actually does that for me. I wouldn't say regularly, but he does do it pretty often in terms of, like, long events. Uh, Alright, we're going to do this. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, I don't want to give Gogeta that many orbs. Okay, let's see what links we have active here. We have everything except Warrior Gods. And I did not check our defense, but again, it's probably not going to be that high. All right, Gogeta dodge. Thank God. Uh, Gogeta with the 30% dodge chance is literally dodging everything. 2.39. This is going to be problematic. Please do not kill. All right, that did not kill. So he's at 1.69 million. Again, this is after four super attacks. This is his fifth. This is his sixth now. Get another super attack, please. This is his seventh. Please get another one. And then this is his eighth with a 2.29 million attack stack. So very, very impressive from this Tech Vegito Blue so far. All right, so I think, again, this boss is dead. Um, so anyways, let's head on over now to the next... Uh, category team with this uh, Tech Vegito Blue. Alrighty, so we're here in the Bojack event, which we're going to be able to absolutely get Tech Vegito Blue's full passive. Alright, so now we're going to, you know, just super attack Bojack. Again, with uh, Tech Vegito Blue, we're going to have everything except Kamehameha, Warrior Gods, Power Bestowed by God, and then Over in a Flash. So, again, let's just go ahead and let's keep targeting Bojack. Um, again, if he can get four super attacks here and then four super attacks when he comes back and then on the third one get two super attacks, then we should have his full passive. Again, that is basically the dream rotation that we want. So 977,000, again, just under a million after one super attack. Uh, there's his second, there's his third. All right, so he only did three super attacks there. Um, not, not three super attacks, he only did one super attack and then two normals again so that's three out of the 10 attacks he has to do in total all right so um again this is probably still one of the reasons why the bojack one is literally probably one of my favorite um you know dokkan events to go ahead and do showcases for is because of this exactly you know the fact that you can just target him and he just will not die uh so that allows units that really need a lot of turns to go ahead and stack up their attack and defense to really be able to just go and do that freely. All right. So then we should have Tech Vegito Blue on the next turn. Uh, so then we're going to run a, ro uh, run a rotation of Tech Vegito Blue. And then um, also transforming Tech Vegito Blue. Which could ideally be a very, very good rotation. If you're going to be using the Future Saga team. Which is of course led by the uh, Dokkan Fest Trunks. Uh, Dokkan Fest Trunks, again, he's a decent leader. Though the only issue I have with this leader skill is that it's 172 HP and attack. And I would much rather have HP, uh, not HP, but defense and attack. And then, uh, you know, 130% to HP. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this is going to allow us to share, again, everything everything except warrior gods. Um, we have three super attacks done, so we still need a total of seven more. So if he could go ahead and do four super attacks here, that would be really, really good for us. Because then that would allow us to just, you know, do basically one more rotation with him. And then we'd have his, basically his full passive active at that point. 
All right, and then this tech Vegito Blue is also going to be building up, you know, that attack and defense, also raising that defense on super attack. All right, so he's out here putting up some really good damage. Oh, I wish that was a <laughs> another super attack, because then that would have been three uh, raises of his defense. And then he's at 1.7 after three super attacks, no support. Again, on this Future Saga team, I actually brought no support, so this is just his damage alone. So that was five attacks. This is his sixth. And then this is going to be his 7th. So now we only need 3 more super attacks. And he and he was already at 2 million. Um, well, over 2 million on his 6th super attack. So um, this Tech Vegito Blue, again, you know. In terms of damage, there's really not that many units that can output as much as he does. Just because of the very fact that he's always stacking it. Makes it so that he literally has no cap on his, um, you know, his super attack and his attack power. Because again, he's, he's just going to be raising it. And raising it and raising it and eventually you know this unit is going to get an easy a this tech vegeto blue is going to get an easy a at one point because again they're starting to now easy a the dokkan fest units like in ui goku and then i believe this unit came out maybe before in ui goku so again you know eventually again he i mean he's going to get an easy a and all they really have to do with him is just make it so that he has defense on his passive and this guy's going to instantly be broken Alright, so now we need three super attacks from you, because he did four last turn, and he did four in the beginning. So if we can get, again, three attacks, essentially, so maybe one super attack, two normals. Um, you know, next turn, he's going to have his full passive active, so we're going to go ahead and see, you know, what he's able to do. Alright, and then this unit here, 2.7, again, may not seem that impressive, but again, uh, next to, you know, another blue fusion, which would be Gogeta, uh, this tech Vegeta blue is going to look absolutely disgusting. And then mine's only 69%, but he's still super good. 2.63, you said. This is his 8th attack. This is his 9th, 2.9. And then with his full passive active, he's going to be over 3 million. He only did 2. Oh, come on. Alright. So, we already know what his full super attack passive is going to look like. He's going to be over 3 million, essentially. Maybe like a 3.1. But, um, again, alright, next turn, we're just gonna, again, do the one rotation with uh, Tech Vegito Blue, with this full passive active, essentially. Alright. Oh, I accidentally focused fire on you. Okay, thank god he actually didn't kill him, because then that would have been super, super annoying. Because then we would move on to the next phase, which were, unfortunately, uh, not unfortunately, oh no. Actually, are they gonna kill Okay, no, they're not going to kill her. All right. <laughs> oh, thank God uh, Bujin is still alive, because again, then we would have moved on to the next phase, which is AGL for Bojack, which wouldn't have gone well, because let's just say that um, we have two tech units on rotation. All right, so his full attack passive is basically active at this point. Um, all right, let's see what, number he, what numbers he's going to be able to put up. Um, for sure, they're going to be disgustingly good numbers. Um, and then this physical Vegito, not physical, but this Vegito Blue's at 4.4. It's very, very good. And then a 2.89 additional. And then this guy is 69%, like I said, so he can actually go ahead and do another one. Never mind, he's at 3.2. That's his final attack. That's his 10th attack. So his full pacifist um, is active. Please get another super. Please. 3.5. All right. Again, 3.5 million with his full passive active. And unfortunately, again, this is turn 9, which is the only downfall to that unit. So anyways, let's head on over now to the Time Travelers category team with this Tech Vegito Blue. Okay, so we're here on the Realm of Gods team led by Dokkan Fest Physical Beerus. Um, in terms of links, we don't have, like, anything except for Fierce Battle. Um, even if we put West Supreme Kai of Time, or not West Supreme Kai of Time, West Supreme Kai, we only have Fierce Battle. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's see what kind of damage um, this Vegito is going to be able to do. Um, again, he might get hit very, very hard. Again, even though West Supreme Kai, not West, yeah, West Supreme Kai is giving 40% attack and defense, which explains his over 1 million attacks at turn 1, because again, usually we've seen him under a million or just above a million. So again, that 40% from the West Supreme Kai time is coming in clutch. Alright, so I believe this is his fourth super attack. 
I believe that, yeah, I think that is his third or his fourth, but let's just call it his third, just to play it safe. Because he had his super attack, and then he had an additional, and then he had a actual super attack, so I think that is three. Alright, West Supreme Kai is probably going to kill. Yep, actually, no, she didn't. That's actually really good for us. Um, we do have Blue Gogeta here, because again, when Blue, uh, when Blue Gogeta goes ahead and he transforms, he does get Warrior Gods, so we can go ahead and actually link those two together. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, float him off because he transforms on turn 5. So hopefully again on turn 5, when we get him again, he's going to go ahead and then transform for us, which is going to be very, very good. Alright, so now we have Tech Vegito Blue out here transforming for us. Actually, no, he's not going to come back turn 5. He's going to come back turn 6, which again is still really, really good. Okay, so we're not going to get anything from Beerus. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. That's going to give us literally everything everything except Warrior Gods. So the plan is to have uh, basically Tech Vegito, Tech Vegito Blue Sandwich between the two. This is going to hurt because, again, he has not had a lot of time to build up his defense. That's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. All right, so this is his fourth Super Attack 1.9. Again, zero support is on rotation. This is his fifth. That's his 6th, 2.4. Again, his numbers really, really begin to ramp up dramatically as he keeps building up. Alright, so he's at his 8th attack. Alright, so we're at number 8. <laughs> Alright, actually no, no, 7th attack, because that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, so 7th attack. Alright. Ooh, this is going to be a bit rough. Actually, no, it's not. We're actually good here. Okay, so yeah, we're... I thought we were going to, like have to super attack but no okay so we're gonna be able to con to, uh, to conserve kale's health by a substantial amount which is really really good again my main issue with usually doing these times of uh with these kinds of you know like showcases is the units are either too powerful and it just literally destroys everything so all right we're gonna be able to get our god rotation right here we're gonna be able to get everything the only issue is Blue Gogeta. Please do not crit. Actually, nobody has guaranteed crit, but just do one super attack, buddy. That's all I'm asking you. Just do one super attack. Call it a day. Pack it up. <laughs> do one super attack, and that's it. Please. Alright, thank God. So this is going to be every single link active. 2.96. Please get a quadruple super attack if Kale's able to live it. He got the additional 3.27. Again, over 3 million without his full attack passive active just yet. I'd say that's pretty good. Um, I don't know what you guys would say, but um, I'd say that's pretty darn impressive. Um, <laughs> Alright. Please. Okay, good. He got his defense, so if Kale super attacks this Beerus, he should be fine. Even at 55%. Okay, she didn't super attack him, which is a little bit odd. Alright. God Topo. Doing very solid damage. Um, not something that I parti uh, particularly like him doing. Please don't do a lot of damage. Alright, thank god. <laughs> I'm trying to not kill this unit too quickly. Okay, so we're going to have everything except Kamehameha power bestowed by God. Um, we're going to do this. Even if it is a pretty foolish foolish move because I know Kefla is probably going to super turn 1. Okay, she didn't. That's very good. Because Beerus now has his defense, so he's not going to take that much damage. And then after this, we're actually going to go on over to the breakdown portion of the video. Um, I know I didn't mention this in the beginning, but the reason for why I'm not doing the Time Travelers team, 3.2 by the way... Missing out on two key links, which is Kamehameha and Power Bestowed by God. Uh, there's the additional. Please get another super attack. Please triple super. Alright, let's get the hidden potential system. No, we did not, unfortunately. So, Blue Gogeta is going to go ahead and end it right here for us with a 2.5 million attack stat. So, alright, the reason why I'm not doing Time Travelers or Patara is because, again, Time Travelers is basically Future Saga. But with, like more like not better supports but with like a little bit more support type units but even then those support type units don't really help tech vegeto blue because in fact they're like almost unrunnable with him so anyways let's head on over now to the breakdown portion of the video
Alrighty, so like I said, I'm not going to do Patara or Time Travelers, again, just because, again, number one, Patara hasn't really gotten a new leader in a really long time, and no one really runs the team. And then Time Travelers, of course, is because, again, like I said, it's basically just the Future Saga team with, like, a couple of other units sprinkled in there. Um, and then just because of time, uh, time constraints as well, because at the time that I'm recording this, like, who knows how long I'm going to be in the breakdown portion, let's just say two to three minutes. This video is going to be like almost 40 minutes long, unedited. So again, I don't want to make this like a 40 minute video. Okay, so again, this is Tech Vegito Blue, full level 10 links. His leader skill is 3 key and 120% to super um, class, basically super types, which includes all 5 super types. So basically the way this works is you need a tech, physical, AGL, STR, and int unit. And then of course he's going to be your leader. And then he's going to give one 120% uh, to stats and then three key to all of them. But they have to be all super class allies. And then his super attack, uh, final Kamehameha, raises attack and defense infinitely and causes immense damage to the enemy. His passive is he has two great chances to launch two additional attacks, which each having a 30% chance of becoming a super attack. And then he gets 15% attack with each attack performed, up to 150%. And then again, he's full... You know, rainbowed uh, 15 in um, in the hidden potential system, and then I do have uh, six dodge on him. I believe. Where where actually where did the extra dodge come from? Actually, where did that? Where did it come from? Um, I know we're in the breakdown portion, but where did that come from? So that was either crit. I went additional there. What was this? Crit or additional? Okay, so that's where it came from. All right, that makes sense. Because <laughs> I would go full edition, full additional for this unit. All right. In terms of equipment, we have no equipment, and then of course he is full level ten links, and then uh, these are his categories. Again, I did not do battle, uh, battle of wits, Patara or time travelers. Again, I already explained why I can't, you know, or why I didn't do Patara or time travelers. But again, battle of wits is literally don't have the leader, can't really run the team. So anyways guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Overall, I would say this Tech Vegito Blue is extremely impressive. I personally am a huge fan of this unit. Um, again, I do think he's going to be very, very good for the GT Legendary Goku event. It's just that you really do kind of have to protect him during the first phases of the um, you know, GT Legendary Goku event. Just because he's going to be very weak in terms of defense right at the start. So you do kind of have to protect him and make sure he doesn't get absolutely mollywopped. Because if they super attack this guy and his defense is not that high, he is going to get absolutely bodied. Um, so again, that is the only downside to this unit. The only one that I can think of. But other than that, I mean a great offense. Again, his defense, again, does need to build up because he has none from his passive. But um, other than that, man, like this guy's going to be putting up disgustingly good numbers. So anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. The name of this one is Rosé. Oh, this is the power of legendary Super Saiyan Goku. Now I understand.